Meantime, when the worldwide recession hit, the price for some raw materials took it on the chin. One of those is silicon, the major component for photovoltaic solar panels. Well, this has caused the wholesale solar panel industry to drastically drop its prices, and some savvy consumers are taking advantage. We get more now from Clean Skies, Lee Patrick Sullivan. This looks great. You guys got a nice even rail. You wouldn't know the country was in the midst of a recession if you talked to Jim Cahill. His company installs solar panels in Southern California. Uh, business has been booming. You know, uh, we we were obviously had a little bit of a slow start to the front of the year, but uh, since then we've just picked up speed, and we've probably in Southern California alone we've probably brought on another 60 installers since uh, the beginning of the year. That more than doubled his workforce. And Jim is not alone. Demand for residential and small business solar panels has been on the rise. The reason? Price. There have been a number of cancellations of large solar farm projects due to the recession. Also an increase in production of solar panels from China and lower government subsidies in Spain have cut the price for silicon in half. Experts are calling it the perfect solar storm for consumers. The silicon manufacturers had boosted their production to a certain level. And now that those orders are not coming in as fast from various industry, you know, that that's created a glut, a little bit of a glut. And that worldwide drop in price for silicon has filtered all the way down here to sunny Southern California, making installations like these more affordable. Solar panels have dropped probably about uh, 30 to 40 percent from last year. So we've seen a significant decrease since probably mid last year. Start with the low cost of solar panels, add one part California sunshine, and a sprinkling of both federal tax breaks and state rebates, and it's a recipe for affordable solar arrays. The cost for this installation in Costa Mesa, California, is half of what it was this time last year. Once installed, the homeowner will see a quick payback. This home can handle a 4.5 kilowatt array, that has the potential to wipe out nearly 75% of the homeowner's electric bills. And if there are other cost-saving measures, such as changing out incandescent light bulbs, that number will rise. We don't, we don't really see a, a, a ceiling or, uh, on what our sales can be. Uh, we had one of our record months last month in terms of sales. So we don't see that uh, there's a ceiling on this as long as the payback makes sense to the consumer. We think it'll keep going. Experts say it will take more than a year for the industry to work its way through the glut of extra silicon. In Costa Mesa, California, Lee Patrick Sullivan, Clean Skies News. Well, one business certainly taking note of the price changes in silicon and solar panels is called One Block Off the Grid. The company tries to lower the price of panels by negotiating and buying in bulk. And Dave Lawrence is joining us right now live from San Francisco, co-founder of One Block Off the Grid. Uh, David, thanks for being here. Hey, thank you for having me. Now, you work with businesses and homeowners. Tell us how this works. You sort of help them navigate the whole process of buying solar panels and getting them at lower cost. Right, so the way that we work is we'll run campaigns in cities and we aggregate homeowners that want to get solar energy on their home. So a homeowner would come to One Block Off the Grid's website, sign up, and then uh, someone from, from our office calls them and explains how solar works, the basics, and then if they like, we'll pass their information to the chosen installation company we decided to work with. So we run a RFP to all the top installation companies in the area and then they all bid on a pricing discount for our members. Give us and an example. You, you recently they, had a deal that you reached um, in, in Los Angeles. Sure. So in Los Angeles, uh, I believe we chose Solar City there, and uh, we're looking to get about 100 people to get solar on their homes. So, are you noticing this drop in the wholesale price of solar panels? Is that what's that has that uh, affecting your business? Absolutely. Um, we are. So the last time we ran a, a group purchase campaign, actually the first time in San Francisco. The price we negotiated was way under market rate, and if you were to look at that price today, it's not that good. Um, so, so the price of solar has dropped dramatically in our programs mm -hmm. uh, just over the last year. So is it like some manufacturers and installers work with you for, with this negotiation and some of them won't, or do you sort of have a growing body of, uh, of, of resources? Uh, we'll usually pick the top ten installation companies in the area, send out an invitation to the RFP. Probably about seven of them will, will respond to the RFP, and then we pick one based on that. And it's a comprehensive vetting procedure where we want to see who's going to be around, who does good installation practices. You know, they're going to be drilling holes in your roof. We want to make sure that they do a good job and that they're going to be around to 
service their warranties. So how many homes have, uh, have used your services so far? So, so far we've done just, I think we just passed our 400th home. Mm -hmm. um, and we're now in six cities and launched the latest two, which would be Palm Desert and uh, Coach uh, Coachella Valley in Phoenix. Okay, so, so what are all the areas that you're in now? It's, it's only out west? We're in San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Denver, Sonoma County, and then, like I said, recently, Phoenix and right. Coachella Valley. And how do you guys make your money? So we take a referral fee from the installation companies, and it is a small fraction of the discounts we're able to offer, and it doesn't vary regardless of who we pick, and so it doesn't affect our decision. And are you sticking with solar? It sounds like this kind of, a, of an idea could work for, for wind and geothermal and other sources of energy. Good point. We started with solar because that's, that's what we knew, that's where I'm from, but we see that that's not the only solution to the puzzle. So we've launched a pilot with sustainable spaces in San Francisco to do home energy efficiency retrofits. And we can do, this model works for any large big ticket green home improvement. And we're even looking at the possibility of electric cars. Wow. Do you have an average that, let's say for, for, for a typical homeowner, that they can save versus trying to figure this out themselves? Sure. It's about 15% off what market rate would be. Okay. All right. Well, we look forward. How do we find out more about One Block Off the Grid? Sure. You can go to the number one BOG.org or just Google One Block Off the Grid and you'll find us. All right. Well, check it out. Dave Lawrence, co-founder of One Block Off the Grid. Thank you. Thank you.